Right now, a story you'll only see here on CBS 2. So I got angry? Yeah. And I went, boom. How could you ever admit to something? What they do to you in there, it, it's a nightmare. A daycare provider with a low verbal IQ confesses to killing a toddler in her care. In this original report, Brad Edwards speaks to Melissa Kaluzinski inside prison. She says she didn't do it, and science may back her up. After the years have passed, it's been just so overwhelming. I get sad when I think about him. Him, 16-month-old Ben Kingen. Melissa Kalyasinski was convicted of murdering him. She confessed. I'll never forget that interrogation. So I got angry? Yeah. And I went, boom. The most damning piece of evidence against you. You threw the baby down. Yes. In the video. Why'd you do that? They were saying those exact words and doing the same hand gestures. How could you ever admit to something? What they do to you in there, um, it, it's a nightmare. After 79 denials. I never disciplined him. Never? Never. I'll take, even take a lie detector to that. She confessed six hours into the interrogation. Do you remember the feeling of being in that room? I do. What did you feel? Scared. The only way for me to get out of there was basically what they wanted. Do you blame someone for this? Mostly blame myself. I wish I was stronger. What brought us here seven years after Ben Kingen's death, new coroner Dr. Tom Rudd discovered x-rays showing no skull fracture and says a previous head injury caused his skull to enlarge at an alarming rate. September 2008, head size in the 50th percentile. December 2008, the 75th percentile. And January 15th, 2009, the 95th percentile. That, the day after he died. When did you know something was, was desperately wrong? The minute I called for his name. From a distance, he was pale white. Have you ever done anything violent? Never. Ever? Never. Did you ever strike him? No. Prosecutors contend Kingen may have had a prior injury, but Kalyasinski delivered the final blow. The coroner disagrees, citing no skull fracture. He changed Ben Kingen's cause of death from homicide to undetermined. Were you hoping you'd be out by now? Yes. What do you miss most about home? Everything. At night in prison, where she keeps to herself. I say a prayer for my family. And she cries, she says. I do it where no one can see me. Sometimes at night I cry myself to sleep. And the next hearing in the case is scheduled for March. So far, the state's attorney's office has fought Kalyasinski's efforts for a new trial. The prosecutor and police declined comment. Kalyasinski is now represented by Kathleen Zellner, a lightning rod who successfully helped overturn numerous murder convictions. She's also currently representing Stephen Avery of Making a Murderer Renown. Rob and Erica. I know what the family's hoping for. Is this story likely to shed any light that would make a difference when it comes to the state's attorney addressing the issues that the coroner has brought forth? Yeah, I think the, the family is ultimately hoping for, for some relief, uh, uh, just another shot, another trial. I think they're hoping for some type of snowball effect. Mm. Um, but the state's attorney has apparently dug in and is going to fight uh, at every angle to, to have this not be retried. All right. Fascinating story, Brad. Yes. Thanks. Brad, thank you.